Hey, welcome to Geosolve. Today we have another Olympiad question. Let's start with the details of the problem. ABC is an isosceles triangle with two equal sides of length three times square root of two. Line segment BC is divided into two equal pieces of length square root of two by point D. The circle is tangent to the line segment AC at point E. Line segment BE is perpendicular to line segment AC. And we are asked the radius of the circle. At this point, you may want to stop the video and give it a try for yourself, and come back for the solution after. Now let's start with solution method 1. First, let's connect point D and point E to construct line segment DE. Using midpoint theorem on right angle triangles, line segment DE will be square root of 2 units. Notice that line segment BE is perpendicular at tangent point E. This means that line segment BE must pass through the center of the circle. Then let's connect points O and point D. So, line segments OE and OD will be R units. Now, let's call angle EBC as A. Since triangle EBD is an isosceles triangle, angle BED will also be A. Triangle EOD is also an isosceles triangle, so angle EDO is also A. Using exterior angle theorem on triangle EBD, angle EDC can be calculated as 2A. From triangle EBC, we can see that angle BCE is 90 minus A. And from angle BEC, we can see that angle DEC is also 90 minus A. Since triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle, base angles must be equal, and that makes angle ABE equals to 90 minus 2A. From triangle ABE, we can see that angle BAE will become 2A. Now if we can see triangle ABC and triangle DCE are similar. And from here we can write BC over CE equals AB over DC. Now let's put the values we know and we will have 2 times square root of 2 over CE equals 3 times square root of 2 over square root of 2. And from here we can find CE as 2 times square root of 2 over 3. Now let's focus on the shaded triangle BEC. From this triangle we can write the sine of angle A as 2 times square root of 2 over 3 all over 2 times square root of 2 and that will be equal to 1 over 3. We will need the cosine of this angle in the next step of the solution. To find this, let's draw a right angle triangle with an angle A. Since we know the sine of angle A, we can write as follows. And from Pythagorean theorem, the missing side will be 2 times square root of 2 units. And from here we can see that cosine A is 2 times square root of 2 over 3. Now let's focus on triangle ODE and apply cosine theorem. Applying cosine theorem for the radius, we will have the following expression. Inserting the value of cosine A and simplifying the expression, we will have this equation. From here, R can be calculated as 3 over 4, which will be our answer. Now let's move on to our second solution method. First, let's connect points A and point D. Since ABC is an isosceles triangle and D is the midpoint, line segment AD is perpendicular to line segment BC. Now we can apply Pythagorean theorem on triangle ABD to find the length of the line segment AD. From here, AD can be found as 4 units. Now we can find the area of the triangle ABC as 4 times square root of 2. Since we know the area, we can find the other height of the triangle, which is line segment BE. From here, the length of the line segment BE can be calculated as 8 over 3 units. Now let's name these two points as F and G. And then let's remember the square of the tangent theorem. This theorem states that the square of the length of the tangent from an external point is equal to the product of the intercepts of the second passing through this point. If we apply this to our problem, we will have EC square equals FC times CD. From here, EC square equals FC times square root of 2. Now, if we apply Pythagorean theorem on the shaded triangle, we will have EC squared equals BC squared minus BE squared. From here, EC squared will be equal to 8 over 9. From these two equations, FC can be calculated as 4 times square root of 2 over 9. And from here, we can find BF as BC minus FC, which gives 14 times square root of 2 over 9. Now let's remember intersecting seconds theorem, which states that the products of the intercepts of two intersecting seconds to a circle from an external point are equal. In our case, we can apply this like BG times BE equals BD times BF. And if we put the values we know, we will have BG times 8 over 3 equals square root of 2 times 14 square root of 2 over 9. 
From here, the length of the line segment BG can be found as 7 over 6 units. And we can see that GE equals BE minus BG. And from here, GE can be calculated as 3 over 2. If you notice, line segment GE is perpendicular to line segment AC at tangent point E. This means that line segment GE is actually the diameter of the circle. And from here, the radius R of the circle can be found as 3 over 4 units. And that is our answer. Don't forget to thumb up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.